Greetings fellow gamers, and welcome back to yet another Pitchmon video. Today I have the honor of presenting yet another set of new Pokemon, with all of them being pre-evolutions of existing bug Pokemon. So without further ado, let's jump right in! First up, we have a pre-evolution of one of the original bug boys, Pinchibi. Pinchibi live on a fructose diet. Since its pincers are not fully developed, it relies on its small claws to break apart fruits, which it will then consume in small portions due to its still growing teeth. Its small pincers are still capable of snapping small twigs, which it will use to obtain fruits more effectively from trees and bushes. Pinchibi are pretty tiny in size, standing at around 1 foot 6. It is a pure bug type. It evolves into pincer after using the move Vice Grip 20 times consecutively without fainting. I decided to include a more complicated method of evolution to make it more fun for the player. Despite their cutesy bitsy qualities, Panshibi can be a little aggressive if not cared for with proper manners. I made a few poses for this Pokemon, which I will leave playing for the next minute or so, which I hope that you will find to your liking. And that is all I have to show regarding this Pokemon. I am personally very satisfied with its design, and I hope that you liked it as well. Now, let's move on to the next little guy. For the second Pokemon, I present Heriddle. Originally, it was called Heriddle, but I decided to change the name last minute. Heriddle live in forest environments. Its small claws allow it to climb trees and reach for sap, which it consumes in great amounts, enabling it to grow. They are generous by nature, and will offer sap to anyone who comes across them. Heraddle stands at around 2 feet tall. It will evolve into Heracross after being fed 100 blobs of sap. Sap would be found on trees. They can be knocked down by the player's Pokemon. Sap would also have a small chance of increasing friendship by one point. The horn, which is underdeveloped, resembles a baby rattle, which it enjoys entertaining itself with on a regular basis. It also uses this part of its body to attack opponents. Now, I shall leave you with yet another minute of poses. Enjoy. And that is all for her rattle. I really hope that you liked it, and are open to adopting one if Game Freak ever decides to make my idea a reality. Now, let's move on. For the last Pokemon of this video, we have Sickle. Credit to Chaotic74 on Reddit for coming up with a name. Link to his profile in the description. Sickle live in forest environments. They spend their time slashing away at trees to sharpen their small, rounded sickles. Unlike Scyther, they lack wings, rendering them unable to fly. Though they have a competitive nature, they are actually very friendly. Sickle stand at around 2 foot 4. Unlike like Scyther, it is also a pure bug type. It evolves into Scyther after defeating 20 different opponents with the move Cut. These alternative methods of evolutions were done for the sake of making the game more fun. In the wild, Sickle often apprentice under Scyther to learn the ways of the blade. They are always looking for a challenge that will push their battle skills. And now, I shall leave you for another minute of showcase of various poses.
that, my friends, is all there is to show about Sickle. I hope that you enjoyed this last Pokemon that I have to share. That is all I have for this video. Please consider subscribing for more good content. I have good plans for the next year, and I hope that you will stick around to see them. With that, farewell good gamers, have an excellent holiday season, and I will see you all next time. Peace.